What's up guys, Quezzy here bringing you guys another tutorial. This one is on making 3D abstract shapes in Cinema 4D. And I'm going to show you four different ways. Um, three of them are basically the same way, just a kind of a different variation. But yeah, so let's get into it. And um, right here are a few examples of what I'm going to be showing. Um, so these four um, are something I just made real quick and I'm sure you'll see a better example in the thumbnail but yeah so let's get started so first off um, uh, with the first way um, which is pretty cool and it's actually my I think my favorite is uh, I'm gonna get a cylinder and I get that I'm gonna go to the orientation I'm gonna put it on X I'm gonna increase the height segments I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit and um, then uh, for this case I'm gonna hit C on the keyboard, make it edible, Ed editable, not edible. Um, I'm going to select this side and delete it. And then, actually, no, I'm going to do this side and delete it. And then I'm going to go to my um, this this tab here. I forget what it's called, um, like the effects and stuff. Um, I'm going to get a displacer. Nah, it's really going to bother me that I forget the name of that, but yeah. Um, then I'm going to put it inside the cylinder, and you'll notice nothing will happen. Um, then you want to go to shading, and you want to go to this little arrow, click that, and then you should get a little pop up here, and you want to go to noise. Now you should see a little bit of a distortion in the cylinder. Um, so I'm going to go back to object, and I'm going to increase the height so it's something wicked like this. And now, if I wanted to, I could just leave it at that and make some minor adjustments. But uh, in this case, I'm going to go to the type, and I'm going to go to RGB XYZ local. And it'll create this cool effect to one side. Now, you can uh, go from this view, and you can see it dead on. Um, so I guess you could put like a render in here or something. Uh, or you can go from the side, and you could duplicate this and flip it and oh yeah that's right it goes the same way but um, in Photoshop you could just render this one out and you could duplicate and flip it over I forgot that it goes in the one direction in Cinema 4D um, but yeah that's one quick abstract uh, render um, another one is um, if you go to your shapes and you go ahead and you grab a platonic uh, you can mess around with the type um, depending on what you want or whatever but I'm just gonna leave it at the default settings and I'm gonna go I'm gonna get a, deform or a displacer again and put that in there and once again I'm gonna go to shading noise go to object and I'm just gonna increase it and I should get some pretty crazy shape like that yeah, and then I can uh, make adjustments how I see fit. So I can like increase segments, um, get more craziness. I can um, change the type, mix it up, something like that is pretty cool. Um, and then if I wanted to, I could get a hypernerb and put that in there. And um, if this isn't the greatest example. This kind of came out weird, but I could do that. Um, for various things um, and then um, the final type using the displacer if I get a torus and do the same thing get a displacer put the displacer in there go to the shader get noise um, go to the object increase the height I get another pretty cool shape um, now this has a lot of segments um, so if I go to the torus and turn down the rig segments I should get a more uh, a cleaner looking shape so um, something like this oh, right there so that's pretty cool um, again you can adjust various settings like the type so I could do that that doesn't really look good for this one but maybe you could find something it'd be useful for um, and then the final way, which is the, the classic way to make abstract renders, um, is to go and you go uh, hit the top right button the, uh, for the view, 
and make sure you get the four panels and then you just want to go and simply click the freehand draw and um, just kinda make some lines on these three quadrants the, um, the two right ones in the bottom left and then uh, go to the main view then you're gonna want to go to loft nerbs get some of those and then get a hyper nerbs put the splines in the loft nerbs and then put them in the hyper nerbs and then you should get this um, pretty cool um, shape and then you can adjust the splines where they're at so I could do something like this like that and do some crazy like that and again I can mess around with it get some pretty cool shapes and then um, simply I would do this and then I could just uh, put this in my Lightroom um, open up my Lightroom copy it add some materials and I can use it for a banner or some type of thing uh, whatever you want to use it for um, it looks good as just like a stock or if you want to include it in a render for a banner or something like that I'd be pretty cool as well so uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this I know this wasn't a very energetic tutorial but my mic keeps acting up when I get like excited and things so yeah thank you guys for watching Make be sure to follow me on twitter at Quezzy and please leave a like if this helped you guys peace